Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and today is Friday. Happy Friday. And I'm sorry I have not been here this week. I think this is the first time that I have done that in so long. But we had a family tragedy this week. Um, we still have a family tragedy. We had a death in our family, and it's, it's not my grandmother. It's, um, I'm just probably not going to go into it, but it was just... It is, it was, it's a horrible situation, and it's just kind of taken me, um, I just needed to kind of step back a little bit and do some things and spend some and time with my family. So my family has just really been through a lot, and I just, I've been through a lot of, I'm sure a lot of you can relate that when something really bad like this happens, it just makes you... I don't know, it was almost like I instantly just wanted to just stop everything I was doing and I don't know, it's like nothing mattered. Nothing but my family mattered. And it's just, I don't know, I don't want you to worry yeah, that about That is me. The main and reason I told you is I wanted you to know um, why I haven't been here and if you've messaged me, I have not even, there have been days that I did not even check my my email or didn't even you know click on my YouTube comments and then some days I would feel like it or whatever so anyway but throughout this week have been many bright spots I got I think four or five gift packages and swaps and some different things like that and so and then I also I took Brooke shopping um, a lot of times we do that on the weekend I had had saved up my points at Ulta and had a big I think I got $125 worth of stuff free and got her some stuff. And um, then I got my hair done this week. I got it done lighter, and I just love it. I love it. So I feel like I'm coming back. <laughs> and um, the cats and Bridget and everybody are going crazy. So this may be a long, just disorganized video. And I see Chanel's coming right now to visit me. And um, one thing I wanted to address, a couple of things I wanted to address before I get into this and forget is one Rachel K I think this is probably one of my most asked questions is when am I gonna get Rachel K back and how can you order it well this is the best news they messaged me this morning when I got up I had an email that they are ready they are FDA approved and they are ready so and I'm so putting I should my get order this next week and I ordered the fair the sun kissed and then plenty of the neutral and I was telling John this morning, I put this on, because a lot of times I'll put this on after I wash my face before I take the kids to school because it has such good sunscreen. And then I can come back, put on my Armani, because I like to put this on before my Armani now. I have realized it makes that stay. It works as a primer for your, you know, concealer and stuff too. And I'm being distracted. I'm going to let them stay out for a minute, see if they can handle it, and then probably have to put them up. But, um... I told him today, I do not ever, ever, ever want to be without this stuff. And I mean that. I mean, I love it. So that is some really good news. Um, another thing is, last Friday I got several, and I always do, get several comments. Um, why don't I get an HD camera? Um, why don't I spend the money I spend on this on getting an HD camera? You know, everything like that. Well, I have an HD camera. John bought it for me, and... Here is the situation. I am just maxed out. I'm maxed out. I really sometimes feel guilty for spending the time that I do that I maybe should be spending somewhere else. And if I do get extra time, what I want to do with any extra time is be able to answer more comments and more personal messages. That is the one thing that probably bothers me the most about YouTube is I get these beautiful, just heartfelt, long messages. and. I intend on getting back to you. I intend on talking to you and just it before I know it I've gotten 20 more messages and I just can't get to it and that is where I would rather spend more time. You don't realize how much time it takes to edit these videos, to upload them, to you know put all the information in the information box and you know that's time away from my family and you know I love it. It's very fulfilling. I think that you know, this is a fellowship of women, and, you know, I, I really do think it is a good thing. I think that helping other women and talking to each other about our children, our pets, 
our makeup, clothes, everything. And it um, it takes a lot more time to film in HD, to have to transfer it to my laptop, then have to wait hours for it to upload, which many times it fails because there is so much, um, so many, so much more to it, you know, to have to upload. Right now I use my webcam, I right click, save it to my desktop, I upload it within 30 minutes, and a lot of times I am waiting for it to finish uploading Friday night so I can go to bed. And so that's the reason. It's not that I don't want you, believe me, I will let you see every wrinkle, every bag under my eyes. There are plenty of terrible pictures out there of me. It's not that I'm trying to hide anything. I never want to pretend to be anything other than I am. I've made it very clear. I've got a video on Botox. I do get Botox. I have that never had it. my eyes operated on at all. I mean, they are very, very much my eyelids. I've never had anything done to them. And my lips. These are my lips. You cannot buy lip skin. <laughs> So that's that's pretty much all I have to say about that. So it's not that I'm trying to um, pull any wool over your eyes or do anything that I shouldn't be doing. It is simply, I don't feel like doing it. I don't want to take the extra time. And um, I learned when I was sewing, you know, oh, I had to have my own embroidery machine. And then I had to have a better sewing machine. And I would spend all this money. And it really, it almost made me burnt out. It almost took the fun away from it when I bogged myself down with the extras. So um, I just have to keep this, you know, something that I want to do. And right now, I, I missed you guys this week. So I'm gonna get on with the stuff. You guys I'll be right say back. say hey to Chanel before she gets put up in solitaire because she's wide open right now. She's wide open. But she's a sweet girl. We're very, very Okay, like I said, I have gotten many, the most awesome gift packages this week with packed full of stuff that I cannot wait to show you. And matter of fact, one of my favorite things I think I left in the bathroom. And a lot of these, I think two of them I got yesterday and then a couple of them one I thing got I wanted last to tell Friday. you about is this. This is the Rimmel Dreamy. And so many of you have it. But if you don't, go get it this weekend. I bought it again. I get in these moods like so many of you asked me I wonder how many lip products you have well I do have many 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 lipsticks but if I don't like it you've probably seen on my blog if I don't like it which I'm gonna do a whole video on red lips and the bright fuchsia lips I'll have to do that another time because I've got I've got a theory on that or something just we'll have to talk about that later but um this was one that I had and I gave it to my mom and I just took her a huge bag of stuff yesterday and what she started doing with it is every time I would be around her I'd say what, what lipstick do you have on and she'd say oh it's so and so with that dreamy on top and I mean she kept saying that so the other day I finally remembered to get dreamy again this is the best lipstick for putting over any lipstick. It was so funny last night before I got in the shower. I just had so much fun putting this over some of those Illamasqua lipsticks, the Shiseido, some of those that I love the color but don't like the consistency. They're either so dry or so matte. It just makes every lipstick better. Even today, I have on one that one of my subscribers, Amaya, sent me from Australia, and I just put this right in the center of my lips. It is gorgeous. It's gorgeous on its own but it has the prettiest sheen to it and it looks so good over browns, reds. My mom wears it a lot over um, some of the dark um, nude colors like, what is a color I'm trying to think of? Just even over like that Trish McAvoy nude I showed you and stuff like that. Anytime you want to give one of those colors just a little bit more depth and dimension and pizzazz. So put this on your shopping list. If you don't have it, I promise you will love it. So that's First one of, of the all, things I, I wanted to, to show you, about. you. You know, I've been loving, loving, even when I look at Brooke's hair, I just can't believe how good her hair looks. We've been loving the, uh, I keep wanting to say Aveeno, Aveda Smooth Infusion. Yeah, Smooth Infusion line. Well, uh, several of you mentioned this, which is the Pureology. I just brought this out, but I bought the shampoo, conditioner, and then this, which is the relaxing serum. And you mentioned this, Pureology Super Smooth. 
Well, so I um, bought it last weekend, and this is one of those that comes out like that. I bought the whole line last weekend, and I have used it twice because one day I had gotten my hair. So what I'm going to do is compare this to the Aveda, which this is more expensive. This was, I mean, this was pretty expensive. I can't remember, but I remember thinking and the Aveda what I'm going to do is just tell you the differences and, you know, just compare them. But what I'd like for you to do is if any of you out there use like the Pantene, any of those other like Pantene, Dove, um, any of those that have a smoothing system, tell me if you have a good one for me to try because I would love to try a, you know, less expensive, um, easier to get drugstore brand and see how it works too. So if you use any of those that are smoothing, let me know. But so far I have really liked it. It, the only difference I can tell is I think this leaves your hair a little bit fluffier. It's not quite as um, separating and smoothing. I used the dirt, the, <laughs> what is that, that Jonathan, um, creamy dirt, I think it's something called like that, and I love it. Um, that's still one of my favorite products. But I'll let you know on this when I use it more. So that's one thing. Then Rhonda, my friend Rhonda that you all know, Here it is. Is that she messaged me, and you know, she is the one that sent me all of my Bond Number no. 9 and got me hooked, and by far my favorite perfumes. She was she messaged me and was asking me did I um, had I tried or heard anything about this is the new scent the bond number no. nine Manhattan and she messaged me and said that she had gotten me a sample and I am so excited their little samples now and I'm definitely going to get this it is a wonderful uh, it's like all their scents it's like a boyfriend scent but got a feminine sexy side it's just wonderful so love that and then she sent this to me she says she saw it and thought of me and couldn't bear not to get it and I love it it is one of my favorite blushes ever and it is the Chanel Fleur de Lotus and I believe this is a limited edition for Nordstrom and it is gorgeous and I'm sure that this is not going to do it justice but it is a color very similar to um, the exposed it's just gorgeous maybe a little bit more pink and I'm wearing it today and it's just gorgeous. I love it. One of my favorite blushes ever, ever. So this, if you can get this, would be a great one to try. And do not be afraid of it being too bright because it's just, it's one of those that is just perfect. It goes right on your brush real easy and then it goes right on your cheeks real easy. It's not like something that you've really got to be careful with. It's really easy to use. And um, so that's that. She sent Brooke and I some more of the hair ties, which I love. I really love these and she sent me these earrings that I'm wearing today and they are I believe they're the Dillard's brand and I love them they're very they're the perfect size perfect not too big not too small right up my alley now just real pretty little button they're perfect they're really perfect because they've I mean, got this the gold fragrance and which is the Creed uh, Virgin Island water she said it's one of her favorite scents and I haven't tried that yet. I've been wearing the Bond Number no. 9 every day. And then I have not tried any of this. She always gets me the neatest stuff. Sephora Pantone Universe Jewel Lacquer. And, oh my goodness, my cat is just climbing up the chair over there. I think there's something about me sitting here talking that just makes them all just nuts. But this is the uh, Cradle Pink. And I believe that I read that it is a um, cradle pink. Oh, cradle pink. You know what? It's so funny. I think last night I thought it said crackle pink. Cradle pink. So I have not tried that yet. And then this one is so pretty. What a good neutral. Um, this one is Camomillion. And this is neat. This is one, another one of the Pantone by Sephora. Transforming Gloss Multi Reflex. And it is the gardenia. Oh, I love gardenias. Beautiful. And oh goodness, I'm about to lock them up. So, and that is just you know puts a little sheen. I'll I'll show you all of these. I'm just kind of going to introduce them now because I've got so much stuff. And then this. Oh, I love this. 
I should have worn this today because this would have looked good with this, but it is a beautiful, it's called Radium Illamasqua. I love Illamasqua nail polishes. Their colors are the best. Isn't that gorgeous? And that will look so good when I'm wearing black like I am today. That will probably be my next one. And, okay, and that's what these earrings came off. So, thank you so much, Rhonda. As usual, I messaged her and told her how much I love this blush. And then my friend Olivia sent me a package. And she, you guys have heard me talk about Olivia before. She lives in Canada. She's the one that has turned me on to so many things, like the Lorac Spotlight, um, the nail polish from Sally's, just so many things. She has the best taste, and she sent me some good stuff. So, and I am, Olivia, sending you that dress very soon. Oh, that's another thing. If you have ordered anything from me, we have been just every night... I've been over at my brother's house or, you know, something's been going on. But this weekend, we are getting everything together and mailed out. So, everything will be coming to you very soon. But she just sent me this yesterday. She said she had to wait for it. And I love this brush. I almost got it at MAC. And I think they were already out. They were already out of this one when I looked at it. But I felt it. It is the brush that comes with the... Oh, my God. It feels so good. Let's see. The 163. And it comes with the new... Um, highlighting and contour creams but there's i'm really looking forward to trying this with the chanel bronzer universal too it's just a really good brush very different i do not have anything like this it would be just good for all that kind of good stuff like that so i just got this yesterday and then in and with this package she sent this and it is the bloom on pro longwear eyeshadow and as soon as i saw it it just brought me back to when I loved wearing the Girl Friendly Paint Pot with the pink shadow over it. So that is what I have on today. I put on Girl Friendly Paint Pot and just this shadow, and it is gorgeous. It is the most beautiful mauve pink eyeshadow. And as you can see, it still gives you plenty of dimension so for I your crease. I love this, Olivia. It is just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And really smooth. It wasn't chalky. Just love it. And then... This, she sent me so much good stuff. Oh my goodness, she sent me a butter nail polish in um, Browden's, Branwin, Bronwyn's Feather, Bronwyn's Feather. Sorry, you know I'm not good at that. And this nail polish is gorgeous. It is designer to better, <laughs> OPI. That would be a good toe polish. I'm gonna put that in my purse. And then she loves the Hot and Naughty Mascara too, like I do. It is the best. I keep trying, I keep getting um, little samples of, I got a Clinique sample lately of their High Impact. I got a Lancome sample of Doll Lashes. I got a little sample of the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. Nothing compares to this. It is the best mascara. So she sent me um, one and then she sent me another of the Hot and Naughty 2 Black Lash and it's the Extra Black and it is gorgeous. If I don't wear lashes, I put this on because it just makes an impact. So I got those two. And then, oh, she sent me this really pretty lip liner. It's a rose color, natural rose, beautiful. Um, I think I left it in my bathroom. She sent me a really pretty Lise Watier, like double lipstick. And she sent me the Laura Mercier. I think it was out here where I used it last. Yep. She sent me this Laura Mercier lipstick, which so many of you have told me to try this. The antique okay, pink. Okay, this that, is the type color. When you put this on, if you ever want just a little bit more dimension and pizzazz, put Dreamy over something like this. It is gorgeous. Just gorgeous. So, I'll do that for you soon. And then, one of the best things that she sent me, and this is something I probably would not have gotten because the last Smashbox palette I got I think was one of their holiday palettes and I just wasn't impressed it was real chalky and just you know wasn't that great so she sent me this which is one of her favorites she said and it is the Muse palette I'm not sure of the uh, that might be the name of it and it is gorgeous it has the prettiest colors yesterday I did the most it was like a the softest smoky eye and which is, you know, you think smoky eyes is going to be dark and harsh, but it wasn't. Just gorgeous colors. That color right there is really, really pretty. It's one of those gray, taupey colors. Um, and the light color was really pretty. A real pretty 
highlight that blended out so well, but these. She sent me some of her favorite Smashbox brushes. I feel like after I use these, I could probably throw out about half of my eye brushes. This brush is phenomenal. It is, see how it's just pointed enough to be precise, like with a outer V color, but yet it's fluffier than your typical, you know, pencil brush. And then I have a few, even, I even have another Smashbox brush that's like this size, but the end is not pointed like that. It, this is just a phenomenal brush, and this is a best blender Worth brush. It. They feel Go good in your hands. It. I just love these brushes. So thank you so much, Olivia. She is, and she sent me some other goodies, and I'm going to try to get on to the next thing, but thank you so much. This she is, is the lip, lipstick duo I was telling you about that Olivia sent me that is so pretty. First, first time I did it wrong, I put the lipstick on and then the gloss, but then it, I realized it's First, you put on this, which is one of those beautiful colors that we all love, the peachy pink, and then you put this over it. How gorgeous is that? So if you are in Canada and have access to this, this is a beautiful, and it looks really good with that liner, the Annabelle Rose Natural, and this is called Rose Ombre Glam, and it is very pretty, and that's why I had it over here. I've been using it. Okay, yesterday I got a surprise package from Amaya, and she has bought so many things from my blog store, which I realize I have kind of let that go a little bit. I plan on getting right on it soon. I'm going to just have to regroup next week and catch up with so many of you guys and um, hopefully get back into it. School has kind of thrown me for a loop. Will has a lot of homework this year, and I'm really trying to sit down with him you know, at the table and just really take my time and, you know, not hurry through it. So I've been spending time on that. She sent me a whole box of goodies for me and the kids and John from Australia. And oh, thank you guys so much. It's just so sweet. So a lot of stuff she sent is this Australis, Australis, Australis. And this is the three in one wipes, moisture rich, skin soothing, aloe vera um, makeup wipes, which we will use. She sent Will a pen. I have not given these to the kids yet. I just got this yesterday, but I wanted to show you first. Um, they are going to love this stuff, though. And some of it I might even... Oh, gosh. Okay, this is... Okay, this is... says Australia's favorite jelly. Original raspberry flavor. Oh, my goodness. So you make it. Directions. Is it... Oh, it's Jello. Yeah, <laughs> it said jelly, but this is Jello. Okay, I'll make that for them. Um, thing of hair clips, which we can never have too many of these. Women with girls know that. Um, okay, I'll keep going with the snacks before I get to the makeup. Um, one thing in here was so funny. It was this one. Oh my gosh, look at this. Vegemite Cheesy Bite by Kraft. Do you remember that from um, Minute Work? Vegemite Sandwich? That's when I first heard of this. So that is so neat. And... Some more favorite cherry ripes. We were out. My friend Jenny Ann keeps me stocked, and I even keep those in my purse. And then these, John, not John, John too, maybe, but Will is going to love these. This is Whiz Fizz Original Sherbet, 110% psyched, um, gluten free, anyway, candy. And then she sent me the neatest stuff from that same line. I meant to try this today because I was so interested in this, but this is the Australis or Australis Makeup Finishing Spritz. Sets makeup all day for all day wear. Best seller with aloe vera and rose water. And oh, you know, I love this. When I take my Back to Max back, it's always like a big bag of Fix Plus. I love, I could not go without a setting spray. So I love, and I just love the bottle of that. It's going to look good on my cube. And then this same brand, and you guys know I love blushes, and look at this blush. It is gorgeous. And I really don't have a lot of hot pink fuchsia blushes, but that is just gorgeous. Gives you the different variations, so I'm looking forward to trying that. And a beautiful eyeshadow palette. I've already swatched one color because that peach color in the middle, I just love it. Beautiful gray purples. Just pretty to look at and two beautiful nail polishes look at that color just gorgeous you can just never have enough nail polishes 
another beautiful color and I guess I should probably tell you the name I like I like to mauve it is <laughs> that one oh goodness and this is you blew me away and then this is what I have on today when I opened this tube I was like oh let's see hanky no honky tonk and it's by that same company and it is beautiful it is the prettiest it's what I'm always looking for a light but bright peach but not to one of those real hard to wear ones and that's what this is it is just gorgeous and then i put a little bit of dreamy in the middle Isn't this lip gloss it's which i am anxious to try after watching the housewives of miami again last night i am forever after that lip color that they have on the girl lisa and the other really pretty girl joe joanne Guys, pay attention to their lipstick and see if you can help me, see if we can find out that color. It's just so pretty. And this is another, this is a mint one. I bought a minty lip gloss yesterday at Victoria's Secret. I went in there to get my sister-in-law some just nice big comfy tops to wear around the house and to wear it to bed and stuff. And um, they were bragging on that mint lip gloss there and how good it felt and it makes your breath smell minty. And um, so that's a coincidence. <laughs> So thank you so much, Amaya. That was so sweet, and the kids are going to be so excited. And, and I this am so one excited. is from, from one of my subscribers, Kelly, and she messaged me and said that she had she picked up a few things that reminded her of me. And we were going to do I thought we were going to do a swap, but she sent me way more stuff than I'm going to send her one of those brushes. But um, anyway, so she sent me some of her favorite things and then some things that she picked up for me. And I have to say, I think this is my favorite one. This bracelet is just so pretty. Look at that. Just so pretty. She said it reminded her of me and my, like my hairband bracelets. But look at that. That is so pretty. So I do. I love that. Then she said this was one of her favorite things. The Intensive Hair and Skin Treatment Oil from Enjoy. That is such a good brand. Um, they just started selling this a little while ago at Ulta. And I may need to give that another try seems like I quit using that oh I know why I quit using it it was so hard to get out of the bottle did you guys like with the luxury I could not squeeze it out of the bottle and it just got to me and that's why I think I didn't buy it again but that is a good brand um, that was the one that Camille Grammer uses in joy then she sent me some of the prettiest jewelry this this and the other necklace I think they're so pretty Ooh, I hope I don't tangle it um, but just my style that this is going to look good with a white shirt like I've got on today just a multi chain with the you know I love that and I think she got this at Macy's if you guys want to check out Macy's this weekend these beautiful earrings you guys are so sweet look at those and they're light they're so light I didn't even notice that yeah love this those. really pretty bracelet which you guys know i love stuff like this i'm gonna have to cut that but look at that bracelet isn't that pretty i love big stuff like this especially like with just a black like a solid black sweater dress and just one big chunky bracelet like that and then also gosh i don't know if you guys can hear chanel i'm going to go let her out it's breaking my heart to hear her meow but i love this you might have to go get this this weekend. Look at that necklace. I just love it. This with a white t-shirt and jeans. That's all you need. Or a white tank top. I just lo I love all the variations of the black and gray and silver. So, Kelly, thank you so much. You're a sweetheart. Thank you for the card. Thank all of you. And I'm going to put some of this stuff up and let Chanel out. See if she can behave. And then I'm going to show you a, a few other goodies that I think you would like. Okay, hey, on to right. the stuff I got. You know, I always have to get stuff when I go get my hair done. But this is something I wanted to show you. One of you told me you went and got the Aveda stuff and that you got the Pure Abundance Hair Potion. Thickens hair up to 17%. And I remember I asked you, did I get that? But I hadn't. And I went and got it. Got it. One and day she made me nervous because she said, don't put it in your purse. You don't want to shake it because it'll mess it up. It'll turn it into liquid. This is the neatest stuff ever. This is like one of my things I think you need to get. You take it and put it in your hair, which I've got mine all teased up. You sprinkle it in like that, and then you go like this, and it like boofs it up, but it turns into like a liquid. It is the, and so it makes your hair like fluffy, not the usual, I didn't put that in there good. 
not the usual like starchy feeling. I'm going to look like a crazy woman. But look, look at that. Can you believe that? It is the neatest stuff and it does not feel built up, you know, like, gosh, I bet I could make it come out to here. I swear it is the neatest. It's a must have. If you want body and volume, just go get it. It's the best. It's better. I hate to, I can't believe I'm going to say this, but it's better than the Bumble and Bumble. It's, it's the best. It's the best I've used. So the Pure Abundance. I can't believe I almost forgot to tell you guys about that. Thank goodness I put it all week. You know, I'm trying to keep things together to show you. Okay. Lip scrub. You know that I love, what I do with it? Here it is. My Sarah Hap, lip, the Lip Slip by Sarah Hap. I have now cut the end of my other tube and I'm using the very end of it. So I got a refill and this is the first time I've tried this, but I bought the Lip Scrub by Sarah Happ and it comes in this cute little bottle and I've always used I have a smash box that someone sent me and I've um, used the sugar scrub that a couple of you sent me from Lush this is even better because I got the um, vanilla bean it smells like the beach because it's vanilla bean but it's kind of coconutty smelling but it has like the oil in the scrub all in one and Tess told me that she uses it in the shower. So last night I used it in the shower and oh, it made my lips feel so good. And then when you get out, put the lip slip on it. And I felt sorry for Chanel and let her out and there she is. Anyway, so she said to take it and to scrub. You know, you want to scrub all around your lips, even, you know, those little fine lines that we start really getting helps. when we get older. I loved it. So that's going to be another thing I'm addicted to because this is the best. It's um, the best. I gave way. Tess a challenge of that color that I was looking for on I still carry it around, the rosy Huntington Whitley, that peachy, pinky, beautiful lip color that she has. And this is what she came up with, and I love it. This lip liner, at first I didn't get it, and then she put it on, and I had to get it. But it's the YSL lip liner in number eight, and it looks like it's going to be too dark, and you know, why would you use this? But I have it on today. It makes the prettiest, natural like a natural lip line on your lips. I just go, I keep it, I'm going to keep it sharp, and you go right on the edge of your lips, right on the edge, and then, you know, I really mush mine together and blend it in real well. Matter of fact, I put this on right um, after I put on my foundation or my Laura Mercier and um, let that kind of set in, and then this is what she put over, and it is beautiful. And it is one of the glosses that stays on like forever, kind of like my number 17 I love so much. This is number seven, Coral Aquatic. And I think I wanted to get this last time or right when I first started trying these and they were out of it, but it is a beautiful um, coral color. And so it gives you that tawny coral type color that's not too bright but just enough color it looks really good really good it's a really good combination. okay i have just realized how long this video has gone on and so what i'm going to do is probably do a part two and i will do it sometime this weekend i'll either do it tomorrow or um or sunday or monday but um it's already you know gosh i've gone in 47 minutes i think without editing it and i don't want to just y'all too long but i do have some really neat stuff to show you wait i will try to do bad. it tomorrow or sometime but i've got a lot of stuff i got to do today so i got to get out of here but i'm gonna do a quick outfit of the day and then let you I go have on um you know i love doing all black this is a james purse little button-up top i got last year from oliver and then these are the um aveda are they not aveda I can't remember the name of them now, but they're the Citizens of Humanity something slick. I will put the name down here, and they're just the black skinny jeans. The shoes I have on are the ones that Helen sent me that are so fabulous. They're the Sam Edelman that look like the Gianni Beanies. I just love them. They are just, gosh, they're so high and so cool looking, but yet they're so comfortable. I just love them. Back I'm so, carrying is yes. the Balenciaga. Um, city, kitty cats are rolling a ball around. City bag, um, it's the cobalt with the rose gold hardware. And this is it. For accessories, I have on the earrings that Rhonda sent me from Nordstrom. I just love them. They're just, oh, my nail polish fashion. is Chanel Vamp, one of my favorites. It's just, 
a classic. And I hope you guys have a wonderful Friday. Thank you for oh, everything that you each do. and every one of you. And I will see you tomorrow, hopefully tomorrow. And I'll show you the rest of this good stuff. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.